My dear students, welcome to week six in Individuals and Societies for Grade 8. Uh, this week is going to be extended from 26th of November till the 30th of November. We're going to start this lesson with talking about a case study of Nepal earthquake. Um, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to recognize factors influencing the impact of Nepal earthquake and damages it caused in 2015. Our word wall is going to uh, include wealth, development, level, time, population, responses, preparation, natural hazards, damage, and catast catastrophe. You will watch two videos in tutorial one that talk about Nepal earthquake, the indescribable horror as a village is wiped out by BBC News. We will watch another video called Aftershock, Everest and the Nepal earthquake. Uh, by the way, this is a trailer from Netflix, but it has the real people talking about what had happened on that day. You will have an interactive activity about Nepal earthquake. Now, I would like you for tutorial two, you're going to watch a video that talks about how to survive an earthquake. Uh, in the interactive activity, you will be in groups of five. You will prepare a poster about how to act when there is a natural disaster. Uh, these posters will be hung in the middle school. Uh, I would like you to use clear instructions. Now, for further practice, you will have a link where you are going to practice more about the topic. For the challenging question, you will have um, an activity uh, that talks about Nepal earthquake. And uh, these are real, by the way, these are real pictures of real of Nepal's earthquake in 2015. Uh, and then you will have a self-assessment quiz. For what to do tomorrow, I would like you to prepare a presentation of what you have included in your poster and spread awareness. For lesson two, you're going to uh, recognize factors influencing the impact of Mount Merapi volcanic eruptions in Indonesia in 2010 and the damages it caused. The word world will include wealth, development, level, time, population responses, preparation, natural hazards, damage, catastrophe, mount, eruptions, and volcano. Of course, there is a PowerPoint that I'm going to show you right now. Let me show it to you. Uh, the PowerPoint is going to talk about Mount Morapi uh, when it erupts, creating six kilometer ash. Um, and uh, it talks about when this happened, uh, what, uh, what caused it, the plates, uh, where is Indonesia, uh, what is the ring of fire. They're going to show you the ring of fire around the world. Okay, uh, why do volcanoes erupt? And there will be quick questions about Mount Merapi, the words, uh, the glossary of the words, and so on. You'll watch a video about Mount Merapi volcanic eruptions in Indonesia. Uh, there will be another video in, um, in tutorial one, where you're going to uh, explore life with ash, accounts from the 200, 2010 Merapi eruptions. You will have an interactive activity. You, in tutorial two, you're going to watch about the mega, mega eruption series of Merapi, another interactive activity, further practice. Um, the challenging question is what caused the Mount Merapi eruption in 2010? You'll have a self-assessment quiz. And for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to read page 53 in your Individuals and Societies book and answer the following question. According to sources A and B, what were the different ways that eruptions of Mount Merapi affected individuals and societies who lived in the area? I would like you to write the answer in your notebook. For lesson three, you're going to recognize task terms and answer formative assessment question. This is the formative assessment for the INS. Uh, the word wall is going to include terms, analyze, demonstrate, describe, discuss, document, evaluate, exemplify, explain, explore, formulate, identify, interpret, investigate, justify, list, recognize, 
reflect, summarize, synthesize, and use. You're going to watch a video about MYP individuals and society's command terms, and you will have an interactive activity about the command terms. You will have another uh, video about MYP INS questions, and you will have an assessment. Uh, there is there will be a further practice, and for further practice, I would for the challenging question, I would like you to answer on your notebook. What is the relationship between climate change and volcanic activity? You will have a self-assessment quiz, and for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to write a paragraph about the Indian Ocean earthquake. This is going to be the end of week um, six. I can't wait to start this week with you guys. Uh, warm regards, all the love and the peace and the respect of the world I give you.